If you want to grow your brokerage by recruiting more agents to your business, you have to take the time to properly prepare yourself for some amazing results. So I'm going to give you 11 things that you can do to set yourself up for recruiting success. Hi, I'm Chiyoko Kikino. I am the Senior Vice President of Brand Growth for Century 21 Canada. I am also the host of the Real Estate Real Success Podcast. All right, let's get started. Here's your C21 checklist for recruiting success. Checklist item number one, set your annual goal. If you set goals for yourself, you have a much higher likelihood of achieving them. So what you need to do is determine what your net growth goal is. So for instance, if you have 100 agents now and you want 110 agents at the end of the year, your net growth is going to be those 10 agents. However, you have to take attrition into consideration. So of course, every brokerage has attrition throughout the year. Of course, people retire, they move away. There's a whole bunch of circumstances that leads to that. So what I suggest you do is find out what your average attrition rate has been over the last 24 months. So take your average attrition rate for last year, let's say it's 8% and the year before, let's say it's 12% and get an average of those two. So let's say your average attrition rate is 10%. So if you take 100 agents, you're automatically going to lose 10 agents a year. So now if you want to get to 110 and you're losing 10, that's 90 to 110, right? So now you need to recruit 20 agents throughout the year. Checklist item number two, define your value proposition. What is your unicorn? How are you going to differentiate your brokerage from any other brokerage out there in the marketplace? What value does your brokerage bring to your agents as well as potential agents that might join you? You're going to want to sit down with your leadership team and clearly articulate what your value proposition is. So what are the unique qualities of your brokerage that really no one else delivers upon? And you want to be passionate about it. You want to find unique ways that you can communicate that when you're sitting down with a potential prospect. Checklist item number three, determine your prospecting methods. How are you going to find potential leads? And there are so many ways that you can do that. One way, of course, is to cold call. So we're going to talk about a target list in just a second, but you can take a target list and you can actually start cold calling people. Um, what about getting your existing agents to be brand ambassadors out there and to bring you potential prospects? Or maybe you want to hire a lead generation company to make those phone calls for you and book those appointments. Or maybe you want to use social media advertising to generate leads, but you'd have to determine what your prospecting strategy is so you can get in front of people and tell your wonderful story. Checklist item number four, create your target list. Now that you set your annual goals, you have clearly identified and defined your value proposition. You have identified and determined your prospecting methods. Now you need to create that target list. So you need to figure out what agents you want to talk to. So maybe there's agents in a particular brokerage that you know your brokerage offers more value than that brokerage. Maybe that's an easy target for you at the beginning. Um, or maybe they're high producing agents because your brokerage is filled with high producing agents and you know they're gonna get inspired and excited about being with like-minded individuals. Maybe it's medium producers that you know that you can take them and you can make them high producers. Or maybe it's new agents into the marketplace that that becomes your unique uh, value proposition that you can help new agents succeed whatever that might look like make that target list prioritize that target list and start picking up the phone checklist item number five create weekly and daily targets I know we can get so busy with our schedules but it's really important that you take the time to focus on what really impacts your business which is recruiting more agents to your brokerage so I suggest you determine some weekly and daily targets for you to achieve. So on a weekly basis, I want you to identify how many outgoing phone calls that you wanna make, how many conversations you wanna have, and how many appointments you wanna book. So for example, you might wanna make 25 outgoing phone calls a week, you wanna have 10 conversations, and you wanna book five meetings. So now you can drill that down to daily targets, right? That's gonna be five outgoing phone calls, two conversations, and one meeting a day. Checklist item number six. Determine what value you bring to the table. As a broker owner, you really have to determine what value you bring to agents. What value will you bring to potential prospects when you're talking to them? So of course, one of the goals is to get them in your brokerage and to talk about all the great benefits of joining your brokerage. 
but how can you get to that second conversation? They might not be ready to make that jump. So how can you get them to the second conversation? And one way you can do that is really determine your value and what value you can bring them. So what are you passionate about? What are you excited about? What are you super knowledgeable about? You know, are you able to offer them a one hour training session on a particular subject or topic? Um, are you able to provide them coaching in developing a business plan? And that might come with some sort of business plan template. Think about what you can provide and offer them so they can get to that second conversation with you and get to know you better and get to know the value of your brokerage. Checklist item number seven, update your online presence. When's the last time that you Googled your brokerage or Googled yourself and followed the links to make sure all the information is up to date? Well, you need to do this before you start recruiting. So go onto your website, make sure your website's up to date, make sure the career section in your website, if you have one, is up to date. So you wanna make sure that the technology that you offer, all of that is up to date, all the training programs are up to date. If you have testimonials, on your website, make sure they are relevant and they're from agents that are still with you, uh, with the brokerage. And then you wanna make sure that all your social media profiles are up to date and any other links that you find on Google, go through that information, make sure everything is up to date so you look like a modern brokerage. Checklist item number eight, prepare your recruitment presentation. Do you have a recruiting presentation that's just gonna wow the person across from you? Because if the answer is no, you have to think of ways that you can wow your potential recruit. So is that having a PowerPoint presentation that you can you know, embed some video in it and maybe that video is, is you know, energetic and it has fun music to it and it really creates that energy that your presentation might need. Plus, it gives you a chance to rest from talking. Um, maybe you want to add screen recording, so giving someone a little bit behind the scenes look at some of the platforms that you offer them. Or maybe your style is just to do a whole bunch of demos of things, but determine what your style is, determine how you're gonna present the value your brokerage provides them. And then maybe you want to do a mock presentation with someone that you know, someone that can give you some honest feedback and see what they think. But at the end of the day, you are gonna to wanna to create a wow recruiting presentation. So that person across from you leaves your office thinking, wow, that's the best presentation I've ever received. Checklist item number nine. Put together a wow takeaway package. Now that you have done your recruiting presentation, you really want to give them with something that has a lasting impression. So that's where the takeaway package comes into play. So you're gonna to want to put together a beautiful wow takeaway package. Maybe you create a beautiful branded folder. In the folder, maybe you put a nice high quality career brochure in there. Maybe you have some other handouts. Maybe you have a branded pad of paper in there. Maybe you have some copies of some of your marketing uh, property materials that you can include that package. But anyways, you want to put together that wow package so when they go home, they put it on the coffee table, they look at it that night, they think to themselves, well, this is a really spectacular brokerage and I wanna join it. Checklist item number 10, adopt a CRM. Now that you have done all the heavy lifting, of course, you've defined your value proposition, you've created your target list, you've made those phone calls, you have delivered a recruiting presentation, you gave them a wonderful wow takeaway package, now, if they're not quite ready to join you, now you have to make sure that you stay top of mind. So adopting a good CRM will not only allow you to organize your database and make notes every time you have a conversation with that particular person, but it'll also provide you with some tasks on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis that you need to do in order to keep in touch with your prospect. But hopefully it also will allow you to build some monthly email blasts that you can send out to your database ensuring that you stay top of mind. Checklist item number 11, and it's our final checklist item. Develop your social media plan. Social media is a great way not only to generate leads, but also to continue to stay in touch with your potential prospects, right? To connect with them, to engage in their post, and to make sure that you are not forgotten. So you're gonna to want to develop a social media plan that not only communicates all the great things you're doing in your brokerage, but really helps to position you properly in your marketplace. So I have created a C21 checklist for using social media for recruiting. So if you want a copy of that, make sure you reach out to me. My email address is chioko.kakino at century21.ca, and I will send you your very own checklist. Anyways, those are 11 things that you can do to set yourself up for recruiting success. Let's review them one more time. Checklist item number one, set your annual goal. 
Number two, define your value proposition. Number three, determine your prospecting methods. Number four, create your target list. Number five, create weekly and daily targets. Number six, determine what value you bring to the table. Number seven, update your online presence. Number eight, prepare your recruiting presentation. Number nine, put together a wow takeaway package. Number 10, adopt a CRM. And number 11, develop your social media plan. If you didn't have a chance to write that down, don't you worry. All you need to do is email me and I will send you your very own hard copy. My contact information can be found on century21franchise.ca. Century 21 is one of the world's largest residential real estate companies in the world with presence in 86 countries. Here in Canada, we are 11,000 plus strong and we're looking to align ourselves with like-minded individuals who share the same vision to what the future of brokerages look like. If you are interested in growth opportunities, please feel free to reach out to me or my colleague, Gary Zaleppa. Our contact information can be found on century21franchise.ca. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and happy recruiting.